Well, that was pretty sick. I'm actually on a work trip right now and I just finished up some driver intros for a racing event that I was working and I thought it'd be really cool to show you a little inside scoop on how I created some of those crazy effects in that intro. The main effect that we're gonna be focusing on is something I'm calling an earthquake transition or earthquake effect where it's like shaking the camera all over the place and you can either do this in post or you can do it in camera by shaking the camera while you're filming. But I'm gonna show you how to do it in Premiere Pro using one effect called Transform. Now when you add other effects, such as effects from the Ultimate Effects Pack or effects from Envato Elements, which is today's sponsor, more about that later, you can get some really cool effects. Now, if you learned something from today's video, please click that like button because it seriously helps out the channel. Yeah, let's jump into it. All right, so now we're in Premiere Pro and I want to show you two examples of where I use this effect in those intros. As you can see, I'm transitioning between these two clips right here and there's a little stutter or a shake going on that transitions them. But when you apply these with each other, like when I transition between these two clips, this clip I just kept shaking the entire time. And then I added some more effects from my ultimate effects pack and overlays from here and there. But when you use this effect, it actually looks pretty dope because you can just kind of stutter clips in between each other and you can just get some crazy looking transitions when you apply these tips I'm about to show you. All right, so let's take these two clips right here. These are both stationary clips and nothing's really happening. So how do you create this effect? Well, all you have to do is go to your project window, click this button down here, the new item button, and go to adjustment layer. Click OK. All you have to do is drag your adjustment layer over your clip, and now you have to determine how long you want this transition to be. You can either just click and drag it, or you can set your um, exact amount of keyframes, but I'm just gonna eyeball it right now. Now go to the Effects tab and type in Transform. Drag on the second Transform effect, because there's two there, I don't really know why. One's uniform scale, one's not. Now all you have to do is go to the very beginning and check this toggle animation button next to scale and next to position. Now if you go a couple frames and let's say move the position, you'll see that there's a black line right here and we don't really want that. So whenever you move a little bit, you also have to adjust the scale so it goes away. So I'm just gonna adjust the scale to 110 and then adjust this like that. Now I'm gonna go a couple frames. I'm I typically jump like two frames at a time, but you can play around and I'll jump one frame this time, go to the right a little bit, go down, jump two frames, go up a little bit over, and maybe adjust the scale to 120 to get a different look. Go a couple frames, go to the left this time, and I'm gonna go up a little bit, and then go one frame, change this back to 110, and really, all I'm doing is going a couple frames, adjusting the framing of the transform tool, and then continuing on. And I'm gonna go to 120 right here, and keep going like this. And I'm gonna finish this out. Again, I'm just jumping like two frames in a couple directions, changing the scaling whenever I feel fit, and just constantly adjusting it. The big thing here is not to go overkill because you don't really know what it's gonna look like till you get done. Now once you get close to the end, all you have to do is adjust your scale back to 100 and then make sure everything is back to normal. Now what I like to do is I like to click this reset button up here and that'll bring it back to normal. Now if you look at this, we still have some black edges right here so I typically go like one frame before if you can, and then reset that one as well. So that way, sometimes you need to adjust your framing, you have to reset them if your scaling is a little off. And if that's the case, you can either scale up and go a couple frames down there and just go through here and look. Now, if we play this back right away, it looks like this. It kind of looks a little choppy all over the place. Now it doesn't look bad, but one thing you'll notice, there's no motion blur. So what you have to do is click on your adjustment layer, uncheck use composition shutter, and change the shutter angle anywhere from zero to 360. 360 being the max. So when you do this, your image is gonna be super blurry. As you can see right here, if I play it back, it's almost like too blurry, but um, it still works. So I'm gonna click on that adjustment layer and change this to anywhere around like, let's say 200. So I think 200 looks good. It's just enough blur um, that's blurring the image, but it's not over the top. So now knowing this effect, 
and how to create it, we can actually apply a couple different techniques to make this even cooler. But first, I wanna hear from today's sponsor because that's how I actually created some of these crazy overlays in these light leaks, because Envato Elements has just about everything. I mean it when I say it, Envato Elements is seriously my one-stop shop for everything when I'm on a work trip or editing YouTube videos. I always go there to find assets for my project. I mean, in this last week, they just added 71,000 assets and that's pretty incredible for example if i wanted to look up just like an overlay i can go through here and find like a golden particle overlay or bokeh overlays or paper rip transitions honestly anything and they have tons of video templates music sound effects graphic templates graphics presentation templates photos fonts and more but that's not the best thing. I work commercially and they have a simple license that works even when your subscription ends. So when you're trying to find assets for your next project, look no further than Envato Elements. And if you click the link down in the description below, you will get 50% off an annual subscription. So that's pretty epic. Let's jump back to the tutorial so I can get to sleep because it's late. So now we're back in Premiere and I kind of want to talk about this right here. Now this is a single clip and this is really effective when you want to just stutter out that one clip. All I'm doing is taking the transform back and forth between one spot. And I'll show you how to do that right here on this clip because I have this little transition right here and this clip is just stationary and then it goes into another little flicker going on right here. And if you guys wanna see a more in-depth tutorial of creating videos like this, let me know in the comments down below and click that like button and I'll try to make something soon. The cool thing about this is you can actually hold Option or Alt on a computer and copy those effects over to other videos that you have to get that stutter going on more clips if you don't wanna re-keyframe everything. But we're gonna start from scratch I'm going to show you how to just adjust this clip right here. So I'm going to hit C on the keyboard so that I know I'm actually only adjusting this clip. I would recommend adjusting things on adjustment layers because it's non-destructive and you can change it later if you want, or you can change the duration and stuff like that easier. So now that we have our adjustment layer, all I'm going to do is start this a little bit earlier because I kind of want this to flicker into that and then also I want it to flicker out a little bit. So all I have to do is go to the effects tab, type in transform and drag on that transform effect. Now for this one, I'm just gonna keyframe the position and scale and go to the beginning, go a couple frames, adjust the position, again, adjust the scale. Like this one, might, we might go a little crazier on this one. That looks good. And adjust the scale back to 115. because I think that's where I'm gonna hold. So yeah, that, the zoom was a little too much. So what I'm gonna do is adjust that first initial zoom to 120 and maybe drag it back down here a little bit. So now that I'm on this clip, I'm gonna go one frame at a time. So I'm gonna go right, one frame, I'm gonna go, let's say, to the right and up, and I'm gonna go right one frame and I'm gonna go to the left and down. And the fun thing about this is you can actually just copy these two keyframes now that you actually have created those keyframes because if you just copy them in pairs of two, you'll see that it goes to our first initial keyframe and then to our next one, and then back to our first one and then to the next one, back to the first one and then to the next one. And if you actually play that back, you'll see that you start to get that stutter effect that I was talking about. Now, play around with this because this is what it looks like when you do two or one keyframe at a time. But if I were to take this same effect and I would go two keyframes at a time and then adjust this, let's say to the left, and then I go two keyframes and then adjust this to the right, two keyframes, adjust it to the left, two keyframes and adjust it to the right. And then I just simply highlight all those, hold option and copy those. You'll see that now my transition has a fast stutter into a slow horizontal stutter. So this is really cool, but again, we don't have that motion blur. So all I have to do is click on the adjustment layer, uncheck use composition shutter and change the shutter angle to like 250 or something. You'll instantly see that we get that beautiful motion blur. And you can add any effects that you want over on top of this, like some from Envato Elements, where you can just download light leaks or pretty much anything like overlays and then set the overlay to let's say screen. And then you can see what that effect will actually look like. It's pretty powerful when you combine a bunch of effects. Well, that's all I have time for for today. So if you learned something, please let me know down below. And if you wanna see more videos like this, uh, as far as BTS goes, I'll see what I can do because uh, I get to do some cool stuff at work.
But uh, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, you know what to do. I'm gonna get some sleep because it's 1 a.m. <laughs>